Hard to pick one thing that I loved about the time that I spent with Kirsty. Um, but I think about the house that they lived in in Rock Hill, and there just seemed to be no limit to how many people Kirsty would invite over and just pile into the house. And I just remember, you know, uh, just being in the kitchen and washing and rewashing mugs and just recycling plate after plate. Um, but there was just, it was unending hospitality. And um, she just kept such a cool, calm head and such a sense of humor through all of it. Um, she set the bar really, hard, really high uh, in terms of hospitality. Um, I still feel like I experience her and her spirit um, in my regular life. Like times that I feel like I know exactly what she would say in a situation. With Kirsty, she always had strong opinions um, about how things should be and the way that the world should be. I remember us just talking for hours, just writing all the world's problems, and yet the solution um, for her would always be the one to do with love. Whatever was the most loving way to handle a situation, whatever was the most loving way to handle um, a person, it was always going to be uh, what, whatever was the most loving thing to do. That was always where she landed. My favorite Christy memory is like when she used to call me toots all the time and it, I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, wow! I just loved that part. Hello, it's so great to be able to just take a little bit of time and um, share some thoughts and memories about Kirsty here. Um, living memories, really, because uh, you know I think she's still still with us in our hearts, still with us in spirit, and is uh, gets to be part of that great cloud of witnesses that the Bible talks about, uh, cheering the rest of us and rooting us on to our finish line. But just a couple of things to illustrate how Kirsty's living memory is still such a great part of my life. Um, this right here is a vision board that Kara and I put together uh, during the first year after we moved back from Scotland. And it's just, you know, different pictures and sayings and slogans to inspire us and to remind us uh, of just uh, the things that, that we want to live for and, and keep in mind in our journey with God. And I want to zero in right here. This little icon right here is uh, the Celtic cross that uh, I put on here to remind me of our time in Scotland. And this little star right there, I put that there to remind me specifically of Kirsty. And, uh, you know, that's how I think about her. Her spirit is still still there, still out there. Uh, like I said, cheering us on, rooting us on. So every time I look at the vision board and, and, and uh, you know, that spot right there, it uh, just reminds me of so many great Scotland memories and particularly of Kirsty and uh, her impact um, on our lives. Uh, this is uh, just one of the great books that Adam put together um, in, in, in memory of Kirsty. It's about her life, uh, just about her faith, about their marriage together. And what's really cool about this is that we shared it with some neighbors of ours uh, who have been coming around to church, studying the Bible, so on and so forth. And they were so impacted by the story of Kirsty's life that uh, you know, uh, my neighbor, he even took a, a photo of one of the pages in here that actually shows a list of the Bible study series uh, that, was, that was used. And he was so inspired, he said he wants to start doing that in his own Bible study. Uh, so it's provided a great opportunity and a great foothold uh, to be able to study the Bible and reach out to him. And again, I think that's so Kirsty. One of the things that I love about uh, you know, Kirsty and, and the memories is that she was always on the mission. She always had that great evangelistic fire that no matter where she was or what she was doing or what the situation was, uh, you know, that she was looking for that opportunity to reach out to someone, uh, to invite them to study the Bible, to invite them to church. And I just think it's super cool that uh, even here and now, uh, that evangelistic spirit is still impacting people. Um, last thing I'll share here is a photo that Kara and I have um, up, up in our room. And um, that right there, hopefully you, you can see it. That's, that's a picture of myself, Kara, Adam and Kirsty were out together. Uh, that was the first double date that we took together shortly after Kara and I moved uh, to Glasgow. And again, so many of my memories of Kirsty are just like that. They're filled with fun 
and uh, just filled with um, just good spirit and especially good humor. One of the things that I always love about Kirsty is that uh, her and I, we always had the same kind of sense of humor where uh, it's like we connected over um, just uh, kind of that, that, that sharp, quick-witted kind of humor um, that is, uh, you know, uh, just I felt, you know, always encouraged by. And so uh, no matter what we were doing or what situation we were in, uh, one of us always seemed to have uh, a little joke or a little jibe or a little dig ready in our back pocket, uh, you know, for, for each other. But we always knew it was uh, just in good spirit um, and, and in good humor. And so, uh, you know, even today, just still feel encouraged and still feel blessed by, uh, by the memories of that good spirit and that good humor. So um, uh, just, we love Kirsty so much. Our hearts are filled with that love and, and always will be. And uh, certainly, certainly love you guys too. And uh, we look forward to the day where we can all be reunited and together again in God's kingdom. Hi, greetings from Oslo. Uh, it's really great that we can uh, remember Kirsty together and uh, all the things or at least some of the things that uh, she means to us. And uh, I just uh, love uh, the fact she was always wanting to have a, a laugh with me. Um, I remember she was constantly amused by some of the things that uh, patients would say to me when uh, I was working in the hospitals in Glasgow. Uh, and she was always reminding me that I was a tall toff and uh, also when I was, whenever I was um, uh, part of the worship, um, she would be singing so joyfully uh, in the congregation, I would say that, and she would have a twinkle in her eye and things didn't need to go perfectly. In fact, she often enjoyed <laughs> when things didn't go perfectly and still really enjoyed worshipping God and mm. connecting. I really felt that, that connection with her. When I did that, and I'll, I'll always remember that. Um, it was wonderful to uh, do things with her, to you know, aim to do things and plan things with her. She really, um, you know, didn't suffer fools. Uh, <laughs> so you really knew uh, where she stood, and I really respected her. You know, the way that she kind of fought her corner and and fought her for things that she felt and knew were important and mm. they were always concerning people and always concerning uh, looking after people. And I also really appreciate that, you know, you could have a real disagreement with her, you could have a real ding dong with her, but you always had that, that friendship with her and that also that she would back you up as well when you, you were, you're in a corner as well, you know, that she always stood up for you in a, in a similar way that she would maybe stand up for other people with, with you. So yeah, I just uh, think of her often and think what would Kirsty do in many situations. Uh, and I, I can, she, she numbers, you know, amongst very influential people in my, my life that have, uh, you know, that have passed away and that I think about that, you know, think about that. Uh, her in that in that same way of what would what would Kirsty do and mm. that's often a very good yardstick uh, for how I would react and the passion the humor the love that I would uh, bring to a situation mm. yeah I miss my I miss my fun uh, good friend and um, I think of Kirsty uh, a lot and I uh, always remember long walks uh, with the children in the park and uh, uh, play groups and uh, she was very determined of uh, helping me to integrate into uh, Glasgow and getting to know the the Gaelic community and uh, uh, and just being around all the fun people in the Gaelic community and, uh, and I do I do um, uh, yeah I just appreciate her, her fun way of looking at things and uh, uh, I think every time we wanted to to do something, she would always come with a, a different point of view. Uh, her, she wasn't uh, afraid of trying new things. Um, and it's, it's really helped me to, to think outside of the box, actually, to be to have Kirsty in my life. And uh, I miss our partnership, uh, just knowing that um, 
every time I, I plan something or we would plan something, uh, it would be from a um, point of view of let's try something new, let's do something different, let's uh, uh, do the best we can with what we have. And, uh, uh, and uh, there was nothing, uh, I think it, Nothing half done, I think, with Kirsty, uh, and uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate the, how she's taught me to to think um, more thorough through uh, uh, how to do things and and why we do things. Um, uh, and uh, and like William was saying as well, it's it, it was easy to to just have discussions and uh, we could disagree on things, but at the same time. Uh, it wasn't dangerous to disagree. It was it was fun, and uh, we both learned something from it, and uh, we became closer friends because we we saw things from maybe a different point of view. But it was it was good to 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 explore new ways of looking and thinking about things. So yes, uh, it's good to remember Kirsty and uh, appreciate um, our friendship together. And we are droning on now, uh, so I'm sure Kirsty was right. But one last thing, I, I, uh, I remember the Hawaiian Burns night uh, that uh, she was uh, found so amusing that, that uh, her and Adam organised and it did involve at one point uh, trying to surf on an ironing board whilst people held the four corners of the ironing board and uh, tried to uh, tip you off and uh, I just remember uh, Kirsty laughing so much and being so excited <laughs> by that so yeah maybe the Hawaiian Burns Night should um, should make an appearance in everybody's life <laughs> at some point it is very memorable. You're on a sonsy face, but chief don't know the button race. I'm going to mark you, tell your face, please drink with them. Willie, oh, 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 oh,